In the meantime, some 200 Afghans were set to begin new lives in the United States on Friday uh, as an uh, airlift got underway for translators and others who risk uh, Taliban retaliation because they worked for the U.S. government during its 20-year war in Afghanistan. That's according to U.S. officials. The operation to evacuate U.S. affiliated Afghans and family members comes as the U.S. troop pull out near completion and government forces struggle to repulse Taliban advances. The first a plane load of 200 evacuees arrived at Fort Lee, a military base in Virginia, uh, for final paperwork processing and medical examinations. The Afghans were expected to remain at Fort Lee for up to seven days before joining relatives or host families across the country. Uh, I'm pleased to report that the first flight of Operation Allies Refuge that departed Kabul yesterday landed in the United States nearly three hours ago. Our Afghan partners and their families on that flight uh, will arrive later this morning, East Coast time, at Fort Lee, Virginia. For months, we and our colleagues in Washington have worked to speed up everything we could in the SIV process. Since the first of this year, our consular staff in Kabul has issued over 5,000 special immigrant visas and interviewed thousands more, some of whom departed yesterday. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.